Hello everybody, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. It's Thursday, September 5th, 2019, release and wipe day, and we have small generators in play, finally. Uh, they look and sound great, they seem to be working really well after some last uh, minute bug fixes from staging, and I can finally answer a user request from Jay McGinnis on YouTube who asks, I'd like to see a failover circuit with two or more small generators so that when one generator runs out of fuel, the other one is started. Well, that's exactly what we got here. Uh, we got a primary generator and a secondary generator. Uh, the primary generator could actually be a string of generators using a root combiner before going up the wall here. And uh, that would be if you need more than just the 40 units of power here. You can um, actually combine as many as you want here. Just put the same number on the other side. Instead of one secondary generator, have another string of secondary generators. Uh, that'll up your total output. You do lose seven units of power effectively through this circuit, so uh, it's going to be your total minus seven is what you can use with this particular setup. Uh, the uh, There's a branch with a transmitter over on this side to notify you that you switched over to secondary generator. I know that wasn't part of the request, so this is totally optional. Uh, but here's how this works. You take the power output from the primary generator. Uh, you do not need this display. Just have this here for demonstration purposes. It goes into this branch. This branch should be configured for uh, your total workload um, minus two. In this case, it was minus three because I have this display here, but it can be total workload minus two. Uh, that puts two power out to the blocker, the rest of it into your main uh, power bus here, which is an OR switch, and then goes up to this branch. I'm using the branch to send the main power out over to these turrets, and I'm taking a two unit default tap off of here to charge the battery. If you failed over more than once, your battery could be dead and then it won't work anymore. So that's sort of a battery maintainer circuit. Uh, the battery goes into this blocker. So while the generator is running, the blocker is on. No power is flowing through this circuit. When this generator cuts out, because it presumably ran out of fuel or maybe got destroyed or maybe one of the generators got destroyed and dropped below your work level, uh, that's an indicator to switch to the secondary generator or generator string. This power gets killed, blocker activates. When the blocker activates, it hits the force start button. Force start button fires up this generator, and away we go. Uh, this power comes out. Again, you don't need this display or branch. It could just go straight in. Um, but in this case, it'll page me when the secondary generator comes on to let me know that I'm either out of fuel or something's gone wrong with my primary string. One thing to note, if you do this with more than one generator, you do need um, to watch your power output here. You are only getting the, the battery minus the one for the blocker, so that gets you nine units of power. So you can only start, um, well, honestly, you can't even start nine generators because you're gonna need either some branches or a splitter, which is also gonna use a unit or two of power. So uh, I'd have to go do the math on it, which I'm not doing right now, but you can probably start seven, maybe six, at least six, maybe seven generators off of one battery here. Uh, you need the battery because there is a cut over time. You're gonna lose power. The battery is gonna be here to kick on the starter for this, and then it'll, it'll take over and provide the power for charging and everything else. Uh, there is a downtime though. You'll see it when I demonstrate here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the primary. It has just enough fuel here for about 30 seconds. And now we're gonna see the cutover event occur. You'll actually see that we lose power briefly. The battery causes the secondary to kick in. And then you'll see the turrets fire back up again. And our uh, transmitter will kick in and page me to tell me that we've switched over. Uh, so I just gotta hang out here for a few seconds while this guy runs out of power. Um, I guess I could turn it off, but there we go. So secondary generator just fired up and the turrets refired. So you got mm, three, four seconds there where you're gonna be defenseless. So an enemy could take advantage of that. But um, if you wanna do a setup with no batteries, no solar, no wind, no nothing else, not a big complicated UPS, just a battery with a, or sorry, a generator with a failover running off fuel. Um, this is one way you can do it. Uh, you'll get pretty good runtime here, two hours out of this, then another two hours out of this, so that's four hours before you gotta come refuel. If you need more runtime, 
you could technically repeat this uh, blocker battery generator string again and have another failover occur. So it could fail from here to here and then to the next string um, and you could get another two hours of runtime. So you could repeat this scenario. I can create a demonstration if anybody really wants to see that. Uh, but that's how you would do it solely with fuel and no other power resources. Uh, I will do a schematic of this. Um, someone turned me on to Rustrician, which is super freaking cool for doing diagrams and schematics of electricity and rust. And I'm going to try and do that more often because I know a lot of you were asking me to do schematics. So now I've got a cool, easier way to do that. So I'll probably do that more often. Uh, that's it. Hopefully that answers your question, Jay, and hopefully this works out for what you need. Uh, good luck and don't suck.